Colin Campbell's got his hands full, that's for sure. I don't. I, I mean, the Louis Erickson hit, I think that's prototypical. You know, he's reaching for the hit. Um, big guy knows what he's doing. He's, he's, he's bearing down and, and finishing the check. He did it again on offensive play against Vince Sorb. Elbowed him right in the face. My head's killing me from this light right now from Danny Heatley's little cheap shot. So, you know, what? There's, there's, <laughs> if, if this, this doesn't get, you know, looked at and, um, I don't know. I, I guess when, when you're used to being on the other end and being suspended like I've been in the past, I think it's uh, it's pretty evident where this this stuff should go in a, in a hurry. And I don't care if Heatley makes 10 million or Murray makes us. It's 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 time to you know get this out of the game as fast as we can. Uh, protect their guys. We got guys in here that are going to be icing heads now, and uh, you know you only have one brain. So let's let's honestly start figuring something out. Nice enough to join us, Steve. It's Deb Placey with Craig Button and EJ Raddick in Florida. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Well, we're, we're good. We're good. good. <laughs> now we did hear what you said right after the game, and you know you, you made the point. We only, you know, we all only have one one n noggin. Uh, how angry are, are you about what happened last night, and, and what do you think needs to happen? Well, you know, first off, today you, you start by going back into the training room we have a day off today and who's in the who's in the dressing room is three guys it's louis erickson uh, thomas Zinster, and myself actually from all kind of i guess high high shots or whatever you want to call it and you know we're the three guys getting treatments trying to you know hopefully figure out something to, to get guys back in line them i don't even know how if louis is going to be able to go tomorrow or whatnot i thought a couple couple four line hits a couple high shots that you know the league is obviously trying to you know, figure out a way to, to make this game safer and better for all of us. And obviously, I'm no, I don't want to be sound like a hypocrite because, yes, I do have a pass of myself of being, you know, reputable and suspended and, and everything else. And uh, But there's still a time and a place for it all. And, you know, players still have to have their own onus on each other. And, it, and it, it's got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. Steve, you, you know, you, you talk about being a guy that delivers hits. You're an aggressive player. And, and perhaps at times cross the line. But that being said, the managers have come out, out of here and they've, they're talking about speed, distance traveled in terms of delivering a hit where a player is along the boards, charging. How do you feel when you hear about those initiatives being undertaken that really puts an onus on the guy delivering the hit? Uh, well, you know, it, it, for, the, for the most part, I think it goes both ways. It's, it's such a, a fine line and it's such a tough call. I guess it, it. I guess it's the, the major thing is the head contact. If, if you're targeting a guy's head, um, you know it, that that's my big issue right away. Is that there's no room for that. But if you hammer a guy with a great clean hit and and, and he gets a head problem from that, or you know it, there's a little bit of contact that that ends up in the head. Well, that's part of the game, and it's been part of our game for the for the remainder. And I don't, you know, I definitely don't want to see hitting out of the league or or fighting or any of that nature. Our game is what it is, and it's a tough, tough game. I couldn't agree with you more. I thought there was heavy intent. Steve Ott had been involved heavily in the game against San Jose that night. Do you think, if, do you, do you think if, it, if it wasn't Steve Ott that Healy would have done that? No, I don't. I don't think he would have done that. Which I, why, I, I, I don't warrant it a little bit more. That's my point. I agree. I think he's lucky that Danny Heatley only got two. Despite the fact he's a clean player for the most part, he got out of line there. And then afterwards, Steve Ott trying to be the voice of reason when it comes <laughs> to that, which was wobbly. He might have been a little bit. Just a bit. We'll I'm here in my